I got this nice folio here. Now these are really easy to find in both charity shops and antiques places and boot sales um, because they used to be very popular. What they actually are, are writing cases. So um, people would keep their writing paper pad in here. Um, you've got a pen loop there then you've got a pocket there and as you can see in here we've got a little calendar 1980 it's real leather um, and a little pocket there for stamps but I really like these because they're really retro but they make great cases for keeping art supplies in I've got another one in red that I'm using as a writing folio um, so I decided to get this one so I could use this one as an art folio now I found some really interesting things in antique shops while I was away this here is a little lino cutter, a little wooden one. It's nothing special, but I just really like it. Um, and it feels like it would be a really comfortable handle to hold um, rather than my little cheap plastic one. So I thought that was a nice little find. I couldn't go in without buying a, some sort of a tin. I'm not entirely sure what this would have been used for. It's either a pillbox or would have kept cigars in it. Nice solid box there. It's quite thin, so I think if I'm going to use this as a watercolour box, I'm going to need to use eyeshadow palette tins to put the paint in in here because it's very slim line. But I love that. I think that's really nice. We also got this new old stock little pen knife with a nice pearlescent design there. Um, now I've got this so that I can attach it onto my pencil case um, and I can use the blade to sharpen pencils if need be. Obviously you need to be very careful with it because it is very sharp. It's new old stock so it's never been used be very careful with that but I'm going to attach that to my pencil case. Now I have a bit of an obsession guys. Yes I have an obsession with art supplies and with tins but I also have an obsession with propelling pencils. So the first one I found was this lovely silver plated one. It's got a nice interesting pattern on there and propelling pencils work by either pulling or twisting the end in order to release the lead. Um, so if I twist this like this, you can see the lead holder comes out. Now this is the one that I'm having trouble finding um, the right size lead for. I suspect that, well, I mean some of them are just an odd size, but, but this one is too large to fit a 2mm in and too small to fit a 3.1mm in. So I'm going to have to use sandpaper to make it fit exactly. But this one's a really cute one, it's nice and short and of course the good thing about these vintage pencils are that they would fit really nicely in your watercolour travel palette. So um, a, bit of, a bit of vintage bling there for, for your art kits. I found two that were a bit of a gamble because they don't necessarily work properly yet um, but these were only a couple of quid um, and I bought them because I like them I just like vintage propelling pencils but I do need to figure out how to use them this one I do know how to use it's it's one that you have four different leads in and you see the dot here you just align it with the one that you want to push out and you push it down and then you when you want to use a new one you pull that up align it with the next one and push it down so I just need to try some leads in there this one here is a really interesting one but it's got a very interesting mechanism on this one and we haven't yet figured out how to attach the lead inside and make it work. Um, you can actually pull it apart, twist it there. And as you can see here, it's got a moving piece there. 
and no lead holder as such. We're not sure if it's missing a lead holder or if um, if there's some unique way of, of making this pencil work. It might be missing a part or something and we're not sure but I still really like it and I'd like to try and get it working. This one here is my favourite. Really pretty one here. This one's actually sterling silver and I've already loaded it with some lead. So it's good to go that one. Really pretty pencils. And then I was in a shop the other day and I couldn't believe my luck when I found this vintage tin. Now these vintage tins really are solid, they feel so nice. This one as well is pretty clean, which was a really nice surprise because normally they're all very dirty and or rusty. Now this one is a very clean palette, it's very spacious, it's bigger than my schminke but it's smaller than my larger watercolour tins and it also has a few um, new unwrapped Rowney and Winsor & Newton paint cakes in there. What I really like about this tin is how it has this bit here, a nice wide bit here, and I love this way of keeping the pans in. You put them in, in between the little metal bits, and then you push this divider in, and there you have it. So I'm really excited to get the paints out, arrange it all, and um, see how that performs when I use it so I'm, I'm really excited about this um, really chuffed with that find it's got the little ring on it's very clean um, and yeah I love it